Hey there, welcome over here to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you new creative recipes using one of my all-time favorite shortcut ingredients, canned biscuit dough. If you don't know yet, I absolutely love making recipes using canned biscuit dough just because it is the perfect shortcut ingredient. You can make breakfasts, lunches, dinners, snacks, and desserts out of it. It is amazing, so I hope you enjoy this video. Let's head over to my kitchen and start cooking. These blueberry hand pies are unbelievably amazing, so that's what we're going to start out making today. I have my can of biscuits. These are just the Southern Homestyle biscuits, the original ones. I placed them on my cutting board, and I did have a little bit of flour on my cutting board to ensure that they don't stick. But you will want to roll these biscuits out as thin as possible. The thinner the better, I always say. They just turn out best in the end. But after I was done rolling them out super duper thin, Thin, I'm going to fill them with about two tablespoons of this blueberry pie filling. You could use any type of pie filling you like for this recipe though. After I was finished with that, I'm just brushing the edges with a little bit of an egg wash. This is going to help it stick and then I am pressing the seams down with a fork. Now that we're finished filling our hand pies in this large pot, I have about three cups of hot canola oil. I'm adding the hand pies in and I'm going to let them cook for about two to three minutes on each side or until they are a nice golden brown color. And then I just remove them to a separate plate lined with paper towels. Now we're going to begin on the optional glaze that goes on top. I really love making it. In this little bowl, I added 3 fourths cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 3 tablespoons of milk. I whisked it all together until it looked something like this. And now that my hand pies are done frying, I'm just going to pour the glaze all over the top. Here's the finished product. I sprinkled plenty of powdered sugar all over the top. If you have never had a ham pie before, I definitely suggest them. I feel like I used to eat them all of the time in the summer when I was a kid. Now we're making these pizza biscuits and they are some of the easiest pizzas ever to make. So I have my can of Pillsbury Flaky Layers biscuits right here and you will want to peel them in half. It is so easy to peel them in half. You just kind of do it like that and then after you are through peeling all of them in half, you're going to want to roll them out so they are thinner. Making them thinner will make them so much yummier in the end. You gotta trust me. Over to my sheet pan lined with parchment paper, you'll place each of your biscuit halves down. And then after that, you will pour some pizza sauce on the top. I did about two tablespoons and then just spread it out all over the biscuit halves. Of course, you can't have pizza without cheese, so I'm adding a mixture of mozzarella cheese and shredded sharp cheddar cheese all over the top. From this point, you could add any topping you like on top. All I chose to do was pepperonis. I added a little bit more cheese on top of that and then sprinkled the top with pizza seasoning. But like I said, add any toppings of your dreams, whatever you like. I placed this in a preheated oven to 400 degrees for to bake for about 12 to 18 minutes or until they are nice and golden brown, just like this. This is the finished product. These are the perfect snack, appetizer, lunch, or dinner. These are absolutely delicious. Now we're making this Mexican casserole bubble up. To get this one started, I have a pound of ground beef in my pan right here. You're going to want to cook it completely through and crumble it up. Once it is through cooking, add in about two tablespoons of your favorite type of taco seasoning and then one cup of water. Stir that all together. The 
There's really not too many ingredients in this recipe, so now I'm adding in eight ounces of tomato sauce. Stir this all together and bring it up to a simmer. Next, you'll add in one drained and rinsed can of black beans, four ounces of diced green chilies, just a can of that, or you could add in diced jalapeno peppers, whatever your preference is. And then the very last thing is one drained can of corn. Stir this all together, and then once you give it a good stir, remove it from the heat. I have my can of Grand's Flaky Layers Biscuits right here. You'll want to cut each of the biscuits into about six to seven smaller pieces like this. Over to my 9 by 13 baking dish, you will want to spray it with plenty of nonstick spray. Add the biscuit pieces in and then pour the ground beef mixture that we made up all over the top. Give this a really good stir so everything is mixed together well. Then you are going to pour about two cups of cheese on top. You could use any type of cheese you like, but I just chose to use Colby Jack cheese. And then this is going to bake in a preheated oven to 375 degrees for about 25 to 35 minutes or until the biscuits are nice and bubbling up like this. This is absolutely perfect served with guacamole, cilantro, sour cream, lime, cherry tomatoes, and lettuce. It has a ton of great flavor, and then it is extraordinarily easy to throw together. Now we're making biscuits and gravy cups. These are perfect for breakfast. In my pan, I'm adding about a third a pound of breakfast sausage. You'll want to crumble it up and cook it completely through. Now that my sausage is cooked, you'll want to add in one tablespoon of all-purpose flour along with a dash of salt and pepper. Mix this all together, get the flour well combined, and then after you're through with that, slowly add in three-fourths cup of milk. You do want to add it in slowly just to ensure that the flour doesn't get clumpy. After a couple of minutes of simmering, it should look something like this. Now all you have to do is remove this from your stove and set it to the side. Now we're going to begin to work on the hash brown and egg mixture. So to another pan, I added two tablespoons of butter, let it melt down, and then I added a half a cup of shredded frozen hash browns. I'm going to let those hash browns cook. Well, I do let them cook in this separate bowl. I'm adding two cracked eggs in along with a dash of garlic salt and pepper. You could add whatever seasonings you like and then add two tablespoons of milk. Whisk this all together. Now that my hash browns are a nice golden color, I'm adding the eggs that we just made up right in there and you're going to scramble this all together. Over to my muffin tin, I'm going to be adding my biscuits in there. So I'm using the flaky biscuits for this recipe, but you could really use any type of biscuit you like. I'm peeling them in half and then adding them in just like this. I am also stretching them and kind of flattening them so they are a little bit thinner. These really couldn't get any easier to assemble, so in my little holes of the biscuits, I'm adding a scoop of the egg mixture we made up, and then a little scoop, about a teaspoon of salsa. You definitely don't have to add the salsa, that's optional, but I love adding it. Next, the biscuit and gravy, and then on the very top, you will sprinkle a little bit of your favorite type of cheese. These will bake in a preheated oven to 375 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes or until they are golden brown like this. These are the perfect hearty breakfast. You could even meal prep them if you would like. All you have to do is place them in a large bag and keep them in your fridge or freezer and microwave them to warm them up. 
Everybody loves monkey bread and I can't believe how long it's been since I've last made it. I have my can of flaky layers biscuits right here. I'm going to cut each biscuit into about seven to eight little pieces. I just set all of my little biscuit pieces to the side. Now we're going to work on the cinnamon sugar mixture. So in this bowl, I added a half a cup of regular sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix this all together. You are definitely going to want to grease or butter your bump pan, so now that's what I'm doing. After I'm finished with that, you will dip each of the biscuit pieces in the cinnamon sugar mixture and then place it into your bump pan. Over to my smaller pot on the stove, I'm adding 10 tablespoons of butter in, along with a third a cup of brown sugar and a third a cup of the leftover cinnamon sugar mixture that we made up. Let the butter melt down and whisk this all together. You do wanna whisk it pretty frequently so it doesn't burn. After everything is melted together, you are going to go over to the biscuit pieces and pour this all over the top. Place this in your preheated oven to 350 degrees to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. Here is the finished product. After it was out of the oven, I just flipped it over on a plate. If you're looking for a monkey bread recipe that you could throw together in no time at all, this one is for you. Also, you could definitely double this recipe very easily if you want more of it. That's it for today. I have plenty more videos like this on my channel, so make sure you subscribe down below the video so you don't miss any more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.